Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for Chapter 14 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, Second Edition. So in this video, what we are going to do is look at negative binomial regression. So I left the uh, output here just to remind us where we were. So in the previous video, we kind of talked about cow models and Poisson distribution, and then we ran a... Um, uh, Poisson regression and then carried out this uh, dispersion test. So this showed that we had significant over dispersion. So the easiest solution to that is to use a negative binomial regression. The reason is because it, it negative binomial explicitly models the uh, over dispersion. Now there could be other types of count models to use instead of this, but this is sort of the really the default model that most people use because of the fact that over dispersion is so common. Okay, so how do we how do we run this? Um, we're going to use a function called glm.nb, where nb stands for negative binomial. This is uh, that that function is from the mass package, which we've used before. Okay, uh, this just reminds us that it, it hides the select function from dplyr. So if we want to use that, we have to detach mass. All right, so what I'm going to do actually, just to save a little time, this is the previous video. We had this for the Poisson. All right, I'm going to copy, paste that in here. And then we're going to do summary model. I'm going to save this as NBRM. Sounds like the name of a boy band. Um, and then instead of glm, we're going to do glm.nv. Okay, we still have article sites as our outcome variable, and then our predictors are tweetdom, uh, woman lead author, and full prof. And then we don't need a family because this function is specifically for negative binomial regression. Uh, but we do need the data. Okay, so let's run that and take a look. Okay, so here are the results. Um, we don't need to necessarily get into all this stuff, but let's look at these predictors. Now, if you remember from the Poisson regression, we saw that tweetdom and full prof were statistically significant under the Poisson regression. Here, with negative binomial, full prof is now not statistically significant, again using the 0 0.05 cutoff. Just tweet dumb. So, you know, what do we can conclude, right? Um, if we had used Poisson, we would, and, you know, writing a paper, or, you know, doing a report for class, or doing, you know, problem set, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, um, we would be incorrect about whether or not being a full professor has a significant effect on the number of article citations. Um, the reason why it's now not statistically significant is due to the over dispersion we had, right? Over dispersion causes our standard errors to be biased downwards, uh, making them smaller than they should be. That causes, be, you know, be, because the z value here is the estimate divided by the standard error, coefficient divided by the standard error. Standard dot, if the standard error is smaller, the z value is going to be larger, and that is a direct correspondence to the p value. Okay, so what we might want to do is, even though we're like, okay, we know there's over dispersion, um, maybe it's not so bad, maybe negative binomial is not necessarily the better model, right? Because we, I talked about how we might, we we might not know um, what the best model is. So we might need to go through and compare a whole bunch of different types of models. So let's let's check out. Um, let let's directly compare the negative binomial and the Poisson regression model. All right. The first thing um, that I do in the in the chapter is. We can look at um, the log likelihood. All right, 
I didn't talk about the this stuff in in GLM. Uh, this is related to maximum likelihood estimation. Um, but the log likelihood, which the function here is log lick. Okay. When we're comparing models, this is the um, this information tell will tell us which one is preferred given the data, and we prefer ones that um, for the for the log likelihood, which is bounded between um, uh, was it negative fifty and zero. So one that's ones that are closer to zero. So let's highlight that and run that. Okay, so we see that um, the log likelihood of a negative binomial is negative 674 for Poisson regression model is 846. So negative binomial is based on log likelihood is, is, is definitely preferred. Okay, another thing we could do is a, um, is a likelihood ratio test. And we can do this because PRM is um, nested in negative binomial. So Poisson is nested in negative binomial. So we can compare models directly. So I'm not sure if we have, this is coming from, let's see if this shows up. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is, if this is loaded. This is from the LM test. It might not, we might, I'm not sure if it's loaded or not, uh, but we're, we're gonna use this here. So we're gonna do L, LR test model.prm and then model dot and brm. So we highlight that and run that. Okay. Um, so we're looking at these two here and we're looking at the p value here and it's the same kind of thing that we have before. All right. Um, the p value is that you know, is it equal to or smaller than 0 0.05? So if it is here, then the second model is preferred over the first one. The second model is the negative binomial. Um, you could see that it has, it's using the log likelihood, the likelihood ratio test. <laughs> it's using that information. Um, and we see here that the degrees of freedom, there's an extra one here because of the parameter from negative binomial for over dispersion. Um, it's not based that we have more predictors. It's just what is being estimated. Okay. So, so the likelihood ratio test tells us that, that the negative binomial is preferred. And then we can also compare the, the AIC values. The AIC values are based on the log likelihood and number of predictors. All right. The AIC values, we prefer the ones, the, Sorry, the model with the smaller um, AIC value is the preferred model. So we can look at these here. We're going to do, we're going to use the C function, say model.prm, dollar sign, AIC, comma, model.nbrm, dollar sign, AIC. Okay, so these are saved um, objects with those models. So if you did names, uh, model PRM will see that AIC is saved. Okay, so the first number corresponds to the Poisson regression model, the second number to the negative binomial. So we'll see, we see that negative binomial is m much smaller of an AIC than PRM. Um, so again, you know, what <laughs> we did all this stuff, I know I went there kind of quick, stumbled over some of it, but all of this you know, we come to this conclusion that's extremely clear that um, we have significant over dispersion and negative binomial is preferred over Poisson. So like that's the takeaway from all this stuff. Right? So, um, this is, this sequence here is, is how we look at um, uh, our count data when we first encounter it, and we're trying to figure out what model is better. Again, we often, often, often have over dispersion. Um, we need to see if it's if, there, if it's significant, right, or substantial enough to cause a problem. And then we'll run the negative binomial, see if there's differences, 
and then do some comparisons of the of the PRM and negative binomial to see what's better. Um, okay, so that is it for this video. Um, we're going to do some some um, interpretations, and then we'll also do uh, looking at whether or not we have excess zeros. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.